right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got a 2005 uh, Scion TC. Uh, this customer came in a couple weeks ago, a uh, bunch of issues that we checked out and everything, but one of the concerns was that the RPM gauge was not working. So I verified that there is in fact RPM signal to the cluster and the cluster uh, in turn was, was not, not producing the signal, showing it onto the display. So I told them that they can put a used uh, cluster into it, but we would have to change the mileage on it uh, to the proper proper mileage that's actually on the vehicle and stuff. So that's something we are going to attempt today. Not sure if it's going to work. If it doesn't work, you guys probably won't see this video. Uh, but let, first things first, let's uh, let's get the clusters swapped out. Uh, before we put them on the bench and we do some EE prom work on them. This way, just, make, just verifying that we indeed do have RPM signal um, or RPM uh, gauge operation. So let's do that first. All right, so first things first, uh, let's make note of the mileage. Uh, the mileage is 144,754. Uh, vehicle is not running right now, as we can see. There is no RPM gauge. Uh, I will start it up. The vehicle is running. Again, no RPM gauge. Uh, the check engine light is on. That was another one of the customer's concerns. Uh, and it is set in a P0171, which it does have uh, leaking intake manifold gaskets uh, around cylinder number one. So that's that's a separate issue. Uh, obviously, you got the tire pressure monitoring light on. We got the brake light on. That's because the e-brake is on. Make note of the position of the gas. Obviously, the temperature. The speedometer does work. Obviously, we are not moving right now, but we should be seeing, you know, about 650 to 750 RPMs right there, which we are not. So let's get the other cluster plugged in and see if we have. RPM signal. So we got the bezel off. Uh, bezel is just held on by some of these clips. It just pulls right off. Just pull it straight out. It's got one screw holding it on and a couple clips on the on the bottom right here. So this is the the new cluster. It is a, a used cluster, but this is our new unit. Uh, the mileage is obviously going to be different on it, uh, but what we want to verify right now is that we indeed have the RPM uh, gauge operation. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Turn this stuff off. Okay. So it looks like all the lights are actually working as far as the backlit displays. Uh, obviously check engine light's still on, maintenance required light, uh, and we do have um, gas gauge shows correctly uh, temp gauge uh, but the mileage because before we were at the 144 432 and we are at 205 432 or no 144 shoot I forget what it was 144 something I have to go back to my notes but obviously it's 205 on this so we are gonna want to uh, we're gonna see if we can change that but we do do have RPM uh, gauge operation which is which is a good thing so moving forward and here is the other cluster just so you guys can see that so let's get this uh, I'm gonna go with the original cluster we're gonna get that uh, taken apart and see if we can read uh, read the chip I'm gonna pull the back off first see if I can if there's any kind of access through the back here which I doubt it probably have to pull the the needles and stuff. Here is what the back looks like. These are the stepper motors. Uh, I do not see the chip here, so the chip ha actually has to be on the, the front side there. So. I'm gonna take a picture of this right now just to see kind of where the 
the needles lay uh, so we can put these back in the, the correct orientation. So I'm just going to stand it up. Okay, so now it looks like we're going to take the, the black bezel off. Same kind of thing. It's got, got clips holding it on. So it looks like it's just the two clips and it has some dowels um, that held it in. So again, set this over to the side. Still doesn't look like we can access the board. Okay, got those off. And now what I'm going to attempt, it's got the clips holding the board to the to the housing. I'm gonna just release these clips and hope that they will come, the board will come out. I have not had one of these apart yet. Okay, so it looks like the only thing holding it in is uh, the rheostat to, to change the brightness of the, the cluster of the gauges. So I'm curious how this comes off. Ah, just pull straight up. Okay. to read what's on that chip so this is this is my process right now uh, we're gonna want to read what's on that chip uh, save it and then uh, then write that information to the new cluster and uh, double check the mileage see if it got transferred over or not if it didn't then I don't know <laughs> and that's just me being honest I am new to the EE prom world um, and you know we'll, we'll see if this works or not I don't know why it wouldn't but you never know uh, and I am going to try to read read it on the board so So I was able to, to read the EE prom, okay, uh, wrote it, and I am saving it right now, 2005 Scion TC, this is the original file, so we're going to, we're going to save it. Okay, so now we have the information off this cluster, uh, before I put it back together, I'm going to disassemble the new, cl new cluster, uh, read the, e read the EE prom on that one, and uh, write this original file to the new cluster itself.
Okay, so we got the file, uh, the bin file read on the, the new cluster. We got it read, uh, got it saved, and now what we're gonna do is go in and write the original file uh, to the EE prompt. So that's what we're gonna do next. So got the got the original file off the original uh, cluster, got it transferred onto there, got it wrote. Um, it does say programming succeeded. Uh, I was doing an 8-bit at the beginning and it was failing, uh, so I did a 16-bit. Like I said, I'm still learning, learning all this. This is all new to me, um, but I was able to get it wrote. We are gonna get it put back together. Um, Probably not completely, but just enough so I can plug it in and verify that the mileage uh, does not say the 2, 205, um, 200,000 miles, where it says the 144,000. So let's see. All right, let's see if it's got the correct mileage in it. Obviously I need to put everything else back together, but before I go too far, I just wanna make sure that the, that the file did get transferred. 144754. So we are good to go. Let's get it back together. So, okay, so we have the 144.754, and start it up, we have RPM, and we do have a battery light on that I'm going to have to take a look at, so I wonder what's going on with that, but yeah, that's all she wrote. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in and uh, following along as we did some EE prom work. So, yeah, stay tuned. Talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye.